Hi, I'm Masha Livitz, endocrine surgeon at UCLA. Today, let's talk about complications of thyroid surgery. Thyroid surgery is a surgery that is done through a small cut in the front of the neck that doesn't put too much stress on the rest of the body. It does require general anesthesia, but the risk of complications such as a heart attack or a stroke are very, very low. The main risks that we worry about during thyroid surgery are related to the structures that are in the neck. Let's start with the risk of bleeding. This is very low during thyroid surgery, only about 1%. Bleeding during surgery is rare and easy to control. However, some patients can have a bleed that develops a few hours after surgery. This can be a major problem since any bleeding in this area is close to the airway and can make it hard for patients to breathe. If you're at a higher risk for bleeding because you are taking blood thinner medications or have a very large thyroid mass, your surgeon may have you spend the night in the hospital to make sure that there's no bleeding before you are discharged. The neck is considered a clean area of the body. Thus, the risk of infection is very low, only about 1%. The next risk involves the vocal cord nerves, which are called the recurrent laryngeal nerves. These nerves control the voice. If one of the nerves is damaged, your voice can become raspy or hoarse. The risk of permanent hoarseness is only about 1% for most cases. Temporary hoarseness can occur in about 7% of cases if the nerve is stretched or inflamed during the surgery. This will recover on its own, but it can take a few months. The final risk involves the parathyroid glands, which are four very small glands located right next to the thyroid glands. These glands need to be identified and protected during surgery. If all four glands are damaged or removed, you could have low calcium. The risk of permanent low calcium is about 1%, and about 7% of patients have temporary low calcium that recovers after a few months. These risks are higher for patients with thyroid cancer that has spread to the surrounding neck structures or to the lymph nodes in the neck. Patients who need a lymph node dissection may be at risk for other complications, such as shoulder weakness or a lymphatic leak requiring a drain. Based on the preoperative ultrasound, we can determine if a patient will be at increased risk for any of these complications. For more information, please visit our website or give us a call. Thank you for listening.